One way of overcoming these obstacles is to introduce entirely new laws to deal with gender-based violence online. The Philippines, for example, passed the 2009 Anti-Photo and Video Voyeurism Act, expressly recognizing that the internet and cell phones can be used to commit photo and video voyeurism crimes. The Anti-Child Pornography Act of 2009 includes computer-generated, digitally crafted images or graphics representing a child. The Anti-Trafficking in Persons Act covers cyber trafficking and cyber sex dens. And the law on sexual harassment includes sending smutty jokes through text, email or other similar means. However, passing new legislation that seeks to regulate the uses of ICTs and the internet also raises concerns, particularly about civil liberties. Advocates for women's human rights say that the new legislation could be used as a tool to increase surveillance in the name of women's protection and safety. Arguments of culture and morality are often used as a way to justify state interventions that restrict women's rights to privacy, freedom of exchange, access to information, for example, censoring access to information on contraception, bodily integrity and self-determination, for example, a woman's ability to choose to have a safe and legal abortion, Human rights groups argue that laws dealing with online gender-based violence should recognize the gender-based nature of the abuses, affirm the right to self-determination as part of the right to bodily integrity and security, distinguish between consensual and non-consensual acts, reflect that the boundaries between offline and online violence aren't always clear, recognize the increased harm and multiple victimization caused to victims or survivors of sexual violence by the recording and widespread distribution of assault. Include a focus on prevention rather than criminalization as a way to address the root causes of GBV online. Make sure that legal and policy measures aimed at GBV online are always combined with training programs for state actors such as the police and law enforcement agencies, frontline service providers, schools, etc as well as social programs, for example, on how to negotiate online spaces and sexual interaction safely, on how to increase digital security.